All right, so we're going to go look at part B, and we're going to be dealing with and this time. Oh, crossover. And. Okay, so and works a little bit differently. Or, keep in mind, or, it had to be in, in at least one of the two intervals in the end. And it has to be in both to be in the final set for and. So it has to be in both. It's the intersection, it, it's also known as. The intersection. Okay, so um, what we want to do is we want to subtract 3. Subtract 3. So we end up getting x. Um, so the 3s cancel, and that's greater than 1. And... So we want to subtract 1, subtract 1. That gives us 2x is greater than 14. And then we have x is greater than 1. We're done with that. And we need one more step and divide by 2 on each side. We get x is greater than 7. Um, it's kind of weird, but greater than, that's the number 7. Um, okay, so we have x is greater than 1 and x is greater than 7. As mentioned before, um, we doing it graphically will help. It, it wasn't really that necessary. Um, I think it did kind of help uh, to see it with or, but it's most definitely going to help with this. And it's just a tip that I suggest. You don't have to do this. X, um, x is greater than 1. We'll graph that first. So we have 0 and 1. And um, it's not equal. And we're going up greater than. So we're going to graph to the right. All right, so greater than 1, and then we have x is greater than 7. It's the same scaling right below, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There we go, it's 7, and it's greater than. Okay, so now we want to figure out where do they intersect. We want to figure out and. It has to be in both. It has to be in both to satisfy, to be in the and. So x is greater than 1 and x is greater than 7. So to graph this, we need to figure out where is the graph both located. Five, six, seven. So we'll notice that um, that in this sort of location over, and I'll draw it in a different color, not to get a little confused. So over here, only x is greater than one is being graphed. As you can see, it's not graphed down here, so it's not going to be in the end. It has to be located in both. So it's not going to be graphed down here. But we notice that once we get up to 7, actually, it's not graphed in 7. So in, equal to 7 doesn't work. But anything beyond 7 will work. So our final graph will look like this. Not including 7, but everything to the right is uh, graphed in both of the intervals. So there we go. So what we notice is uh, the final result in set builder notation is just x vertical line x is greater than 7. And we're done. So keep in mind how or and and work. Or it, it can be in either one. It will be in our final or result. And it has to be in both to be in our final AND result. So that's how it works. That's how compound inequalities work. 
All right, so let me know if you have any concerns. I'll be more than happy to help.